Big Five Model of Personality. First, we have personality versus personality traits. Personality are individuals' characteristic pattern of thinking, feeling, and acting across time and situations. Personality traits are characteristic behaviors and feelings that are consistent and lasting. Trait personality theory suggests that a person can be described on the basis of some number of personality traits. Is What are the big five? Psychologists have proposed many systems for categorizing the characteristics that make up an individual's unique personality. This theory is most widely accepted trait of personality. This is based on the lexical hypothesis derived from the factor analysis. This leads us to the history of the big five. Lexical hypothesis assumes important human traits that will be represented in different languages and have many different synonyms. Alport and Odbert used the English language dictionary and found more than 4,000 words that described personality traits. Cattell reduced 4,000 terms to about 171 characteristics. Andy used factor analysis to identify traits closely related to one another. Lastly, he reduced his list to 16 key personality factors. Costa and McRae had the Big Five model with the neurotism, extroversion, openness, agreeableness, and conscience. Goldberg coined the term Big Five. He began with the study by Tupes and Christel in 1958 and 1961. The Big Five structure was derived from the statistical analysis from which traits tend to reoccur in people's descriptions of themselves and other people. A factor analysis was used to analyze how various personality traits were related in humans. We start off with the Big Five as what is called an acronym used as OCEAN. O for being openness, a person who is open to new experiences. C for being conscientiousness, a person who is disciplined and responsible. E for extroversion, a person who is sociable, outgoing, affectionate. A for agreeableness, a person who is cooperative, trusting, and helpful. And N for a neurotism, a person who is unstable and prone to insecurity. Starting off with the O in openness. Definition of openness is a general appreciation for art, emotion, adventure, unusual ideas, imagination, curiosity, and variety of experience. A person who would be high in openness would have fantasy, ideas, feelings, actions, and values. A person who is being low in openness would not be down-to-earth, conventional, uncreative, and prefer a routine. A princess that has the following traits from openness would be Rapunzel from Tangled. Here is an example. I can't believe I did this. I can't believe I did this! <laughs> Mother would be so furious. But that's okay, I mean, what she doesn't know won't kill her, right? Next is the letter C. C is for conscientiousness. This is the tendency to show self-discipline, act dutiful, and aim for achievement. People in high conscientiousness have self-discipline and low in being lazy. For more examples, this would be dutifulness, order, deliberation, achievement, striving, and low would be aimless, lazy, and quitting. A princess that has the following traits for being conscientiousness would be Milan. Here is an example. Next is the letter E. E is for extroversion. This is described as being characterized by positive emotions, surgency, and a tendency to seek stimulation and a company of others. This would be an example of excitement for being high and low in being quiet. For more examples for high, this would be activity level, excitement seeking, positive emotions, and warmth. Low would be reserved, a loner, and quiet. A princess that has the following traits from being extroversion would be Princess Jasmine. Here's an example. I can show you the world Shining, shimmering, splendid Tell me, princess, now when did you last let your heart decide? The next letter is A. A is for agreeableness. This is a tendency to be compassionate and cooperative rather than being suspicious and antagonist towards others. This would be high in trust and low in being aggressive. 
For more example of being high, this would be straightforwardness, trust, tender-mindedness, and compliance. For low, it would be aggressive, ruthless, and suspicious. A princess that has the following traits of being agreeableness would be Snow White. And here's an example. I'm awfully sorry. I didn't mean to frighten you. But you don't know what I've been through. And all because I was afraid. Last but not least would be N for near autism. This is a tendency to experience negative emotions such as anger, anxiety, or depression. This would be high in anxiety and low in being calm. For more examples, how would include anxiety, self-consciousness, depression, impulsiveness, angry, and low would be calm, even-tempered, unemotional, and hearty. A princess that has the following traits for being neurotism would be Elsa from Frozen. And here is an example. No, why? Why do you shut me out? Why do you shut the world out? What are you so afraid of? I said, Ita!